Hey everyone, today I'm going to walk through the Wanhua District of Taipei, Taiwan, the oldest district in the city. Today's date is Thursday, February 22nd, 2023. The time is 6.30 p.m. Temperature 65 Fahrenheit, 18 Celsius. I'm currently in the Ximen Ding area of Wanhua. Ximen Ding is a big shopping area. And it's part of the Wanhua district. The area used to be known as Monga or Monka. And in Taiwanese Hokkien, it's known as Banka. That's why some of the signs you'll see Banka around. I am going to walk over to the central Wanhua area, home to the Longshan Temple. I'll also show you the Bo Pilau Historical Block and Huasi Street, which is otherwise known as Snake Alley. The area around the Longshan Temple used to be a legal red light district. And although um, prostitution doesn't really, um, it's not legal anymore, it still happens in some parts of the Wanhua district. It's really kept on the down low, but it still happens. Right now, Seaman Ding is home to the Taipei Lantern Festival. In fact, I hear the uh, King of Lantern Dragon playing right now for the Lunar New Year of the Dragon. This show for the duration of the Lantern Festival will repeat every half an hour. I think it starts at 6 p.m. Uh, every night. In addition to the dragon blowing out steam like this and mist, you have these two giant fish on top of the metro station entrances blowing out soap bubbles.
Just waiting for the light to change now and I'll show you the historic red house, which used to be the um, first meeting house in Taiwan. It's built in 1908. Once I get over into the quieter section of Wanhua, you'll know it. There'll be a lot less people. There's the Red House. It's really transformed itself. It still is a uh, trading post of sorts, although it's more geared towards tourists now. There is a uh, art gallery, I believe, upstairs. I walked inside, so it's pretty cool. And alongside the Red House, you'll find a lot of bars. Many of them are LGBT friendly. Right now it's still pretty early in the evening, so I don't expect there to be that many people around. Guan Ying Guan Ling means welcome. For those of you wondering. See, there's the LGBT uh, QIA plus flag. I just find it very interesting how the oldest district in Taipei has all these like sub-districts. You have the Si Ding area, which is all upscale and shopping. And then you have the uh, LGBT scene here by the Red House. Then you have Huasi Street, where they used to uh, serve snake there as food. I'm not sure if they still do. And then of course you have the uh, unofficial red light district. See, as soon as you get past the Red House, it's a lot less busy. This is also Taipei's poorest district as well. British fish and chips for 280. That's interesting.
I'm gonna walk over to Canding Street. Sounds like karaoke in there. Let's cross the street here. I think I'll have the opportunity too soon. fancy hair salon. Here's Canding Road. Taipei's unofficial red light district. I've noticed along this street, there are several massage parlors. I've heard rumors that some of them offer extra services. The area near the Longshan Temple 
used to be a legal red light district. And I've heard that they were making plans to uh, legalize it, but I don't think it's ever materialized. I think we're about a block or two away from Longshan Temple now.
Well, here's a massage spot. Very flashy. There's another one clearly marked spa. Bo Pilau Historic District is up ahead, according to that sign. For me, it just seems kind of awkward that there's several of these massage parlors right next to the temple like this, the Lungshan Temple. Oh my gosh, it's so blatant here. These women are just asking for a massage straight out. Amor means massage. The historic block is just across the street, but I want to wrap around once I showcase this block. Bolpilau historic block. Well, I guess we can go now. Yeah, I'll go now and then come back to this side of the street. Bo Pilau Historic Block.
many of these shops are closed for the day. I think there's an area you can walk through also behind the back. So I'll take that um, going back to Canding Street. right here we have some artwork for the Lunar New Year year of the dragon is pretty. Big sign, Thai massage, two hours for a thousand. Here's that Thai massage place with a homeless person or someone sleeping on the streets next to it. Really sad. Speaking of uh, homelessness, you'll see it here in places throughout this district in Wanhua. massage place looks Vietnamese.
Thai massage. The Banka Longshan Temple is over to my left. Oh, never mind, it's over to the right. I have to go through the park and then head over to uh, Longshan Temple. Bangka Park In this park too you also find a lot of people homeless It's rather Sad to see. Although Taipei does a lot better with homelessness than many other places throughout the world, it's still an issue. This area has had a reputation over the years and as being seedy and kind of dangerous. But compared to other cities, Wanhua is still pretty safe. Right now, the Longshan Temple has displays for the Chinese New Year. Let's go in and take a look at the temple itself. And then close by here is the Guangzhou Street Night Market. And then just like a few blocks away is the Huashi Street Night Market, Snake Alley. It is just wild how much um, difference there is in this district, as I said before.
high-end shopping tourist area, commercial area, red light district, old temple. people entering in this side of the, um, the temple. I also really like these golden lanterns they have up surrounding the temple. I'll bring you inside of the temple right now. I'm gonna hurry up so I don't photobomb them. Shan Temple. I've seen it also um, spelled with an O instead of a U. So Long Shan Temple or Long Shan. I guess it depends um, what dialect you're romanizing it from, or the um, phonetic system. Here you can buy various souvenirs. You can help support the temple this way. Conveniently place ATM if you don't have cash. Let's head over to the Guangzhou Street Night Market. Really sad to see the homelessness around here.
If any of you are unfamiliar with night markets, you're in for a culture shock. Basically, they're places for people to go and buy clothing, accessories, and get quick bites to eat. I will have to admit though, a lot of the uh, night market food, they're very quick to cook items. They're often fried, and a lot of it is uh, unhealthy as well because they use a lot of fried stuff and oil and sweets, but not everything is like that. You can get fruits and other healthy items. Maybe I should go on this side so you can see more of the food vendors. It seems like most of them are facing this way. I saw the peanut um, shaved ice cream that I got when I went to Yilan County at the Wodong Night Market. I think that's where it um, first started. Scallion pancake is popular throughout Taiwan. So this is Guangzhou Street Night Market and here's the entrance to Huashi Street Night Market, the Snake Alley. Let's see if they actually do serve snake in here or not. I've seen videos of snakes being caged up and then they actually like um, cut them up in front of people. It's, a rather shocking experience. I don't think that's allowed anymore. Looks like it's very flashy now and as the sign said, it's a tourist night market. There's a few uh, massage places here, but for the most part, just from looking at it, they do look like legitimate spots. Yeah, I doubt they're going to be um, offering extras in here or any of these places. <coughs> Feels like there's more massage places here than like food spots and Snake Alley. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, how many uh, massage places are there here? I've heard that um, it was once possible, I don't know if it still is, to like get snake blood here and uh, drink it and eat snake meat. This is Xiaolong Bao. And get your ears clean there too. Yeah, I've never seen this many like beauty places and massage spots in one place in my life. There is a pretty big uh, profit margin on massages though. You don't really need that much overhead. All right, I think this is more of the food section. I think if uh, you really want to find snake meat and food, you can get it on this block. This one looks Vietnamese. Place looks popular. They all smell good too. Since 1975, Wang's broth. It's a long line for this spot. Yuan Fan Fang Hua Bao. Wa Bao is a pork bun. I don't even see any uh, thing resembling snake meat or snake blood here. And Huasi Street. 
but this is a pretty unique night market where you can find stuff that you can't get anywhere else. This is extremely pretty. another temple quite beautiful actually head this way back towards the Longshan Temple. Not gonna lie, it seems kind of shady in here. Granted, Taipei is a pretty safe place, but still never know. I don't like it when it's kind of dim and dark like this.
Ashley, let me walk this way. walk over here, Si Chang Street, back to the Banker Park where the metro station is. No, I didn't even realize there's a small night market here too. Si Chang Street Night Market. Although I'll have to be honest, it doesn't really seem like this is as much of a tourist night market as Guangzhou Street or even Huaxi Street night market. some massage spots over here as well. It is a rather strange part of the Wanhua district. This is 
where I'll get to the metro station. Through the shopping mall. rather long walk to the metro station. All right, everyone. I'm going to wrap up my video here of the Wanhua District, the oldest district in Taiwan. And as you can see, definitely varying degrees of uh, sub-districts within the Wanhua area. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone, take care.